Hello and welcome to Beyond the Lens. Today I'm going to answer two questions. The first one I was asked about black and white footage. And the person who asked me used the standard black and white setting on Adobe Premiere and was a little bit disappointed that he didn't have very much control, if none at all. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the other one is about cin cinematic style letterboxing or te any templates that are out there that you can use on your on your footage. So let's have a look at black and white first. I've got here um, my a bit of footage here from freefootage.com. Great little place, you know, worth going to it. Let's close that. And there's our footage. Nice bit of footage there of uh, 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 somewhere in America land that's a canyony style Wild West type sort of thing. So first of all, I'm going to show you black and white. So if we search in here, there we are black and white, put that in, it changes it to black and white. But if you look up here, there's no control over it at all. It's just black and white. You turn it off, there's your color, turn it back on again, there's your black and white. So I'm going to turn that off for the moment. Instead, a much better way, one which gives you a lot more control, if you go to video effects and just above color correction, you've got channels and then calculation. Put that in. Now, straight away, you don't notice any difference. But over here, you've, in your input, we change the RGBA. First of all, it goes gray. There's your black and white. Now, you're going to say, hey, John, that looks the same as the other black and white. So if we turn that off and turn that on, yes, it does. But we can go on the other channels on this. So we've got the red channel, which really brings out the sky more, or the green channel, or we can go over to the blue, cha the blue channel. You could go to the alpha channel, but you see nothing then. So if we go onto the red channel, bring out that sky nicely. <coughs> What we can do on this, you'll notice you've got a secondary layer. So it's on video one here. Well, we could do video two, video three, but I'm going to video one here. And you notice we've got the same gray, red, green, blue. Well, if we bring in, say, blue, and bring that down so we've got a bit more control over this, and bring the op opacity in, you'll notice it starts mixing them. Not too badly, but then we can go to the blending mode. So if we go to multiply, you'll notice a great difference, a lot more. Now it could be sort of, you know, I could be sort of dusk or early morning there. But you can go to all kinds of things, like overlay, change it completely, change, you know, get a completely different look again. And invert it so it looks even stranger. Make it look quite actually that's quite nice. How I like that. But uh, well, let's try one more. Let's go to color burn, which really darkens out. But if we bring that, bring the paste it down a bit. There we go. If you look much nicer, it gives you a much nicer feel to it as you, for your black and white. And we just turn it off. There's your color. There's your black and white. Color, black and white. Now we're going to have a look at the, um, the cinematic letterbox bars, which I spoke about. Now I came across here. Go back here. This guy here, Film Dog Pro's HD Letterbox templates. Now, these are completely free to give away. Um, no charge at all. You can share them with your friends, but you're not um, not allowed. To, it's totally free, but you mustn't sell them. So, 
when you open up the box, you've got or, or, or open up the zip file, you've got a README, quick reference, aspect ratio, origins, which takes you to a Wikipedia link, which I don't know about you, but I don't trust Wikipedia. And we're going to go into 1080p here because this footage is 1080p. You'll notice straight away you've got all kinds of different letterboxes from the sides and from the top. So we're going to go for uh, sorry, go for this one. Bring that straight, drag that straight into your timeline. Now you can see straight away there we are. Boom. There it is. Gives you a nice sort of cinematic feel, cinematic black and white feel to your footage there. Well, I hope that was helpful. Um, if there are any comments or questions, put them in the down below, and I'll put a link down below to download the uh, Film Dog Pro's letterbox templates. Again, they're totally free to use, to put into any of your things, whether it be commercial or um, just for fun. And uh, I hope this was useful again. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time on Beyond the Lens.